and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, the background is a little bit different. That's because we are in my bathroom. I have my robe on and I'm ready to take off my makeup and just do my nighttime skin uh, routine. I decided to film this video for you guys so I can show you every single product that I'm using, why I'm using it and so on. I hope you're gonna be interested in that. And before I start rambling like crazy, let's jump straight into the video. When I have my makeup on, I always double uh, cleanse so I can take everything uh, off. Uh, I would definitely suggest double cleansing or using something that's washable um, to uh, take off your makeup instead of using maybe uh, makeup wipes and stuff, something like that. They are not uh, really good for your skin. Um, you can use them like from time to time. Sometimes if you feel like you really need them, you know, they are quite easy to use. But like on a regular basis, that's really not good for your skin because they can be very uh, drying and also they are not good for environment as uh, well. So what I use to take off my uh, makeup is this um, Garnier Missler uh, Foaming uh, Cleanser. As you can see, it's uh, clear. What is good about this uh, Missler, I guess that's how you say it, um, Foaming Cleanser is that uh, if you're like me, I've never really got into all those Missler waters and taking your makeup that way. As I said, I love washing my makeup off instead of using uh, missile waters or um or makeup wipes or something uh, like that and this is really really good because it's very uh, gentle on your skin it, uh, it has no oil alcohol or uh, fragrance and it's great for sensitive skin as well uh, myself I have sensitive skin which is combinational my t-zone is uh, oily but skin uh, around my mouth my cheeks especially this area here it's uh, it tends to get quite uh, dry basically my skin is like uh, that Facebook status is complicated you know it's every area it's like story for itself I said because I have makeup I'm gonna start with this one and that's my like first uh, washing uh, done uh, what I want to say is um, I think it takes off basically 90% of uh, makeup from your face, uh, it's very gentle. Second step, I'm using this uh, La Roche Posay Effeclair um, Purifying uh, Foaming Gel. This is for oily uh, skin. This is meant for oily, acne prone uh, skin. It's soap free foaming uh, gel. Um, as it as it says, it's basically for oily skin. I wouldn't really recommend this for uh, dry skin at all. A uh, combination like mine still can use this. I find this it's a great swatch for especially summertime. I've been using this, uh, I don't know how much you can see, uh, it's up to here, uh, basically whole summer, especially in those like hot days when humidity is very uh, high and you, need it, uh, and you need that extra, you know, help in washing off uh, extra sebum, uh, extra, you know, everything from your face. It doesn't feel drying at all. Um, so if you have oily skin, if you're pro uh, if you're prone to getting some spots and something like that, uh, especially in those months when it's uh, hot outside, I would definitely uh, check this one out. So as I said, after washing my makeup off, I'm gonna wash my face using this one. Also, what is great, it's soap free. Um, and paraben free and a little bit of that goes really a long way. The second wash, as I said, I'm gonna go for this one. So that's uh, that basically what I love about this uh, La Roche Posay um, foaming uh, gel is it's really your skin feels really clean like if you need something on that's really really gonna clean up your face without being like overly stripping I would definitely suggest this one if you don't have oily skin maybe um, I wouldn't really go for this one I, I think this is very uh, specific for oily skin and maybe combinational skin I'm gonna buy another one so I can always have this as like a safe option uh, when I really want my face to get that extra like cleaning um, effect you know the next step I'm using this pixie uh, glow tonic this is exfoliating tonic and uh, I'm just 
uh, putting a little bit on my cotton pad. I'm, I'm putting it basically everywhere on my uh, face and my neck. Uh, this is, you probably heard of this one because this is Pixie's, I think, most famous uh, product. Honestly, when I just uh, started using it first time, I haven't noticed some difference in my skin until I stopped using it and I was like, oh, you know, my skin doesn't look as good as it looked while I was using this one. Um, it's, as it says, exfoliating um, tonic. I say it's quite gentle. Uh, it's also good for sensitive skin because it's alcohol-free. I think I use for my night uh, routine. They have a lot of different uh, tonics as well. The um, rose one, the rose uh, tonic is also great for sensitive skin and something that I would suggest maybe using in the uh, morning uh, time. Um, it really gives that that glow to your skin. Your skin really looks nice and healthy. Also, it has uh, getting rid of dead skin um, cells from your face um, because it's exfoliating. It has this 5% glucolid acid, but as I said, it's quite um, gentle on your skin. So if you're maybe new in that glucolid acid and exfoliating stuff, this is something that you can definitely try and start with because as I said, it's quite gentle. I myself, my skin is uh, sensitive and I never had any issue with this. Uh, I would definitely suggest using this in the evening once a day. It's really really great. You have this big bottle which is 250 milliliters. Uh, it's uh, $30 but if you want to uh, try it, uh, the small one which is 100 milliliters is $15 so you can always try and see do you like it or not. I think it's really really good uh, way to incorporate glucomid acid which is a great option to just get rid of that skin and everything in quite a gentle way. Then my next step is by uh, is niacinamide uh, by Ordinary. This is niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% uh, percent. and let me tell you this is just awesome 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 product. This is great for oil and combinational skin in general because it's great for balancing uh, oiliness of your skin. Also, it's good for somebody who has sensitive skin or who suffers from redness on your face because uh, zinc is uh, anti-inflammatory. It's good for for it's good for soothing your skin and that uh, redness. Uh, cinnamon in general is great for improving skin barrier, for um, just uh, improving your skin texture and everything. You can use this morning or evening. Actually, I just go like three pumps, something like uh, that. Also, it's good for blemishes. So I always go, especially in the areas where I have like my uh, my spots, scars from my spots and uh, stuff like that and just work it in my skin. Uh, I What I have to say is um, I'm not a doctor or dermatologist in any way, but I'm just telling you what I've uh, searched on online is that niacinamide and vitamin C are not really um, complementary to each other if you're using because niacinamide can uh, reduce the effects of uh, vitamin C so basically if you're uh, already using or have some vitamin C products in your skincare what you should do is use niacinamide uh, in the morning and vitamin C in the evening uh, and don't use them uh, together at the same time while doing your skincare because those two together uh, can reduce the effects one of each other. My next step is uh, also uh, ordinary uh, product. This is hyaluronic uh, acid. Uh, 2% plus B5. Uh, uh, hyaluronic acid in general helps uh, keeping your skin hydrated. This one from Ordinary Particular, it's very good for deep hydration because uh, this formula has uh, three different, if I'm not wrong, uh, types of hyaluronic acid molecules, uh, which helps you to have that deep uh, hydration of your skin and not just on the surface of your skin. And, and it's good for anti-aging and just your wrinkles because as we get older we're losing collagen and one of the main uh, parts of collagen
damaging is water and hyaluronic acid is one of those things that you want to use generally in your skin routine because you always want to keep your uh, skin not just on the surface but generally uh, hydrated and having enough water because first of all it's healthy for the skin but also in that way your skin is going to look uh, much younger and plumpier serum it's kind of sticky and what I find it, it works the best is when your face is a little bit uh, wet. Let's go with my um, mist. This is Mario Badesco uh, facial spray with aloe, cucumber and green tea. This is something I spritz all over my face during the day. It's great for calming your skin. If you have sensitive skin, this is something that will be really suiting for you, but also during daytime, you know, wherever I feel I need some extra hydration to my skin. So I just spritz this on my face and I go with hyaluronic uh, acid. We go for like two pumps, something like that. And this is one of those products that, in my personal opinion, at least for me, you see results very quickly. Like, you know, you can put it in the evening and in the morning. Uh, I go a little bit heavier in the evening. During day time, um, I just put a tiny, tiny uh, bit. As I said, when your face is a little bit wet it goes much easily it's not as sticky as it would be if your face is dry it's one of those things that you put in your face and you wake up in the morning and your skin just looks so plumpy so like i don't know so healthy like basically like if your skin just had a glass of water something like that it Basically, any skin uh, type uh, should use if you have dry skin or mature skin for obvious reasons because of the hydration you should use it. But also if you uh, have oily skin and combinational skin, uh, this is good because oily skin still needs hydration, especially because we do tend to use some uh, face wash products that are a little bit more harsh than those that people than uh, products that people with dry skin use because we still need that extra strength in our face wash. Uh, face washing products this is something I would definitely suggest like 100% you know I'm not somebody who really believes in hype or some product you know I'm always like a little bit skeptical but honestly when I first tried this on first night um, I put it also went for two pumps in the morning your skin just looks really good it just, don't get me wrong you know one product won't change your home face and all of that. You, you need to have consistency in skin routine and using different products and finding what's uh, working the best uh, for you. I still have bad skin days. Uh, my skin is quite sensitive and as you can see I have some pots here and here and that's all normal. We are all humans, you know. My next step is this is Sleeping Oil uh, Luna by Sunday, uh, Sunday Rang. You probably heard of this product. This is a uh, sleeping oil which has uh, retinoil in. Uh, it has 2% retinoil and that's uh, basically the substance that's uh, generally good for your skin tone, for uh, evening out your skin tone, good for un uh, for wrinkles. And it's uh, good also for redness uh, and uh, dryness of your skin. What I need to say is that you need to be careful with uh, retinols because they can be a little uh, drying. Uh, starting uh, first time using either uh, products that have uh, either glucolid acid or retinols in it, start by using just one and then after some time um, start using the other and then start mixing them. My skin right now is uh, used to, to both of these products so I can use them even though I don't use this every night you know this is something I use like three times a week something like that. Uh, when it's uh, colder outside uh, I tend to just uh, go very lightly on my uh, dry areas. If your skin is naturally dry you want to give that extra moisture after putting this uh, oil. So what I really love using this is especially on the areas where I have some spots for example like this uh, then this redness here and here and in general in the areas where I feel like uh, I need a little bit of help, I go quite lightly, just just put it all over my hand and just tap it in my uh, skin. You need to fully hydrate your skin uh, after this uh, and don't, don't forget that. Uh, part then my next step is eye cream right now i'm using the uh, this 89 um mineral uh by uh, vichy um 
it's quite uh, light. This is a gel formula, as you can see it looks like uh, this. This is something like basically a serum for your eyes. Uh, I don't find that it, uh, that it works like miracles with my dark circles. This one in general is good for hydrating that area. And so I find it okay, you know, I, it's not something that I'm like blown away. And my last step is my moisturizer. I'm using this uh, Cenove uh, PM uh, Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Uh, this is ultra uh, lightweight. It has uh, three different ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. It's also oil free and very light formula. It's something that really uh, your skin soaks in. It doesn't leave that like oily um, layer on top of your face. I really uh, love it. I usually go for like two or three pumps, massage it in my hands and then just put it all over my uh, face. I just love how light this formula is. It's really, you, you can feel that your skin is getting hydrated, but it's not like oily, you know, it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily or so. Great moisturizer basically for any uh, skin type because you get that uh, moisture that you need without your skin feeling uh, oily and just plugging your pores. And my last step in my night routine is always some lip balm. Don't forget to hydrate your lips as well before going to bed because they need hydration as well. So that's it guys, basically that's my night uh, skin routine uh, done. Uh, I hope you find this video interesting. And I'm not a doctor, not a dermatologist, I just want to tell you what I find that's working good for me and why I think it's good. Uh, so always just bear that in mind, everybody's skin is different, you know, because somebody maybe, uh, something works maybe for somebody doesn't mean it's gonna work for you or vice versa. I hope you guys uh, find this video interesting, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, that would really mean a lot, a lot to me. I mean, the comments down below, have you tried any of this? product, what was your experience, did you love it or not, um, are you maybe planning to buy some of this stuff and uh, try it, please do let me know and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!